Hello, welcome back. Last time I finished the time clone level, which was a pretty good time. Um, I think I have... Oh right, level totals are going to show me for everything, because everything is actually on one level. <laughs> I think this is the last place I have left to go. Is there anything more to see out here? Okay, so that's going to be open when this guy is dead. Which I guess will be from the exit that takes... Okay, mm-hmm. Puzzle based on a variety of different elements and styles. Alright, so just... Random miscellaneous stuff level. North, easier puzzles. South, harder puzzles. North, easier puzzles. <laughs> this sign says nothing. Uh, okay, well, logically I'd go and... Looks like the river's flooded up this way. I expect my feet will get a little wet. That's deep water, though. Okay. Wraithwing Roach, Roach. So what's up here? Pressure plate. How do I get there, though? Through these. Okay, so Wraithwing holds Roach in place here on the pressure plate so I can walk through there. Sounds good. Uh, let's see, when... how early do I need... I probably don't want that Roach to move yet. I would like the Wraithwing to be roughly in place first. So Roach come to me, Wraithwing hold him back. Uh, good enough. Okay. Pretty simple. Okay. That was indeed an easier puzzle. <laughs> Why can't they get anything other than fifth place ever? <laughs> That's just always what it is. Um, so release Serpent with that. Why? Because I have to use him to... Okay. Use Rock Golems to route the Serpent to this pressure plate so that he will toggle this door, then he needs to also die, and I need to step on that. Okay, uh, so Serpent's Route. This is unlikely to be a problem. Serpent's hate going west, so then he will never go there if I'm in this area. Uh, this is potentially a problem depending on timing. This is potentially a problem depending on timing. Could this be? I think so. Yeah, this could be. If you're going this way on a horizontal preference, then you'll prefer to go here rather than here. Or here. So I probably want a golem here. Uh, oh boy, right. And now moving these things around is going to be a, a thing. Um, I don't know how much... Serpent timing is going to play into this. I might be able to just mm, skip some of these. Actually, okay, right, that's why mm -hmm, that toggles both of those, which is why it has to be the serpent, and I can't just park one of these there. Alright, so you're just kind of in my way. Uh, I'm not ready to commit to killing any of these yet. I'd like you to die in that spot. Can I make that happen? I think so. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Um, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and just do this. And right, Serpent needs to die, so I'd like one here and maybe even there. This is kind of busy and messy. It's a little hard to see what's going on because there's so much going on. Uh... Sure, fine. You, you'll do. You can go here. And actually, no, it's better to put you there. Uh, let's see. Actually, how do I get you into that position? Can I even? 
I'm not sure that I can. Hmm. Uh, it's not the easiest thing. I mean, do I even... Well, no, I do need somebody to kill that serpent. I should have... I should have just... Uh, done something different. I would prefer... Why don't you go here? And you go there. Stay out of my way. Okay, so I can much more easily kill you there in that arrangement. Now, if you come to me... There we go. And then the only other dead end that I need to care about at all is there, and I'm not sure I need to, but I might as well. Since I have an extra golem, he can die in that spot. Um, somehow. Uh, somehow. Yes, like this. Okay, good enough. That should be a perfect serpent route where nothing can go wrong, regardless of preference. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, done. Okay, well that was cool. Did I see... thought for a second I thought I saw a cracked wall, but I guess not. Okay, well, <laughs> not a lot of easy puzzles there, I guess. Just the two. I wonder why that trapdoor is there. I guess just to show collapsing river bridge or whatever. Alright, so if I wanted to skip this, I would do that. If I didn't want to skip it... Okay, so bridge dropping for wraith wings. Is this basically just a wraith wing horde sort of thing with trapdoors so it's a little hard to move around? Whoa, lights come on. Sploosh. No trapdoor gate. Trapdoors are just for restricting my movement. But these all have to die, oh, in an open space? How's that gonna happen? Uh, you sure about this? Wait, no, they don't have to die in an open space. I can, I can squish one against that wall. Alright, so if I get a little closer, they should start... Oh, no, they're not interested in me. Alright, so I need more aggression. If I kill this one, that's going to be better for aggression. Do that. I can make one of you come to me, I think. I know how wraith wings work. Kinda. Uh, this would be good in a different configuration. If I step north, yeah, that does almost what I want. Uh, uh, if I could just get this guy to come to me without this one being in such a place as he is. What if I steer you across that arrow? Um, yes, that's fine. Yeah, sure. That's a perfectly fine Wraithwing corner. Cool. It's even darker in this room. <laughs> you know what that means? That means, uh, this. I'd like to see the lighting effects, but I'd also like to see anything at all. <laughs> Use decoy to cut tar stuff, because this is an uncuttable blob. Okay. I can do that somehow. Okay, that's interesting, actually. Oh, wow. You know, for as simple as this looks, this is actually going to be a kind of complicated puzzle, because I need to set up a multi-step stab sort of thing. Can I... There we go. That did it. <laughs> yeah, because... Because um, I need the decoy stab. Mm. Um... I can't just place it with its sword in a cuttable portion of the tar because that would immediately uh, cut it and it would be the same as Beether stabbing it. That was cool! Yeah, so I had to set up a, a two-stage sort of cut thing where Beether's sword could go into the other portion of the multi-cut. Wow, I like that. 
that was... man. For such an ex extremely simple, pure puzzle, I'm surprised I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> there was some stuff with mud in delay that was kind of like this, but but not. That was neat. I like that room. <laughs> uh, brains. Three of them, and a roach. What's on this? How you open with that? Wait, how... What? Okay, you open with this. You open with that. What am I doing? Step on this to kill a brain. Step on that to kill a brain. Uh, open this with that somehow. So what, the roach goes in here? But then... So this opens with that. But this opens with that. This seems like an impossibility. I have mirrors, sure, but I can't... Oh, wait. This opens with that. Okay, so first goal, I guess, is just... Uh, don't die to roach and step on that pressure plate somehow. Oh. Um... Okay. I like the idea of Rochi friend being trapped on a brain so he doesn't know how to get to me. Uh, shoof. Can I do that? Almost... Almost, not quite. Uh, I need more distance or something? Hmm. If I could get, just get him to move the other direction. Like, if he's if he's here, trying to pathfind through the brain, I should have... I should flip this the other way. Um, somehow. Uh. Having some trouble. So what am I trying to do? I'm trying to yeah, I'm trying to trap the roach on the brain. Uh, okay, so orient maybe this way or something. No, maybe this way or something. No. Well, that's terrible. Here. Okay, right, so you don't know how to go across force arrows, which is to my benefit in situations like this. That lets me get some distance, sure. So then if I use this, can I then convince you? Let's see, to come across, no. Uh, if I were facing... Like, this way? Here we go, that's what I wanted. Okay, Roach is stuck there. Ah, oh, shoot, he was. Uh, wait, why is any of this a problem? Did I even need to ditch that Roach at all? <laughs> I don't think that was... Oh, I think the problem here is that I won't be able to get back out? Why would I... Sure I will. Like that. So I'm not sure any of what I did here was at all necessary. My name is Beethro. Yeah, I... I don't... <laughs> uh, I mean, the roach needed to be far away from me. I guess that was the main thing. So yeah, maybe that was necessary. Right. Needed roach distance to be able to get in here without him killing me. Okay, so what's all this then? place to just park the roach? Okay. Sure. Are these going to open again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, I might as well smash this. And then I just do that, right? Okay. That was a strange room. I guess I did it right? I guess it was open-ended? Maybe there wasn't a right way to do it? I, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what the, like, main part of the puzzle was there. 
And I'm not sure the thing I did with getting the roach stuck on the brain was necessary. I think I was just supposed to use mirrors to, like, trap it in maybe one of these spots. I don't know. <laughs> That's how I did that room. Hauntlick, Rock Golem, Rattlesnake. How much level is there? There's this. There's a lot of level. Okay. At least... Uh, one, two, three, four, five more rooms. Yep. This bothers me. I'll bet there's a secret here. But I looked for cracks and I couldn't find any. Uh, okay, right. So, what's this? Orbs. Release Golem. Release Rattlesnake and close this. Release Roach and close that and open that. This reopens only with this. Okay, this looks complicated. You're standing on a fire trap, which is activated with that. So I need to be able to get in here facing north. Or somebody else, like a rattlesnake, could go in. Yeah, that's disarmed. Uh, somebody else, like a rattlesnake, would need to go in. Uh, probably not a rattlesnake, though, because if I walk over this... How will I kill it? Brain. I don't see what I'm doing yet. Uh, let's start with that. If I walk in here, this happens. If I walk in here with a sword, that happens. There's nobody I can k put in here and kill without um, a sword. There's no mirror I can use to reflect that or anything, which, of course, that's not going to happen. The only thing that would walk in there of its own accord would be the rattlesnake. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be walking in there. <laughs> uh, and to get to the brain, I have to already have done that. Okay, so things are going to be brained at the point that whatever needs to happen there happens. But... Uh, oh, no, no, I thought I understood for a moment, but then I didn't, because I can't get out here and lure something that way. Because, like, if this were closed, then I could have an unbrained critter going this way. Oh, that's a toggle. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I am not understanding what I'm seeing here. So, hi, I'm a rattlesnake. I go over there for just long enough... Uh, no. For not long enough to get in there. Even if I'm pretty quick. Yeah, no, that's as quick as I can be. I mean, I could park a golem corpse there to uh, stop it from getting all the way out, but then it would never get all the way out. There's this runaround here, for some reason. If the rattlesnake went back in there, it would then... Hmm. Hmm. So I can close that, make those fully unbrained. See, I can't do that because that drops the trap door. But I can't do anything without a sword here because I don't think it will just stun me. Like, I'm hoping the rattlesnake goes back into its place like that. But then I can't solve that. I don't have anything flying to shove into that space. Uh, so, it seems like it's not Beethro who has to press this, but then who does? Only the rattlesnake can, but rattlesnake then gets trapped in there. I would have to walk in here with a sword to stab its tail segment, and that would take me over the trapdoor. Like, I could only cut it down to three without doing that. I could kill it if it were here and here, and that was its tail. But how does that help me press this plate? I 
don't understand this at all. Am I just missing some element of this room that I'm ignoring somehow? Like, the aunt, like, needs to die. This opens this? Why? See, that would make sense, but this? And why do these close? Why does that toggle? Uh, huh. You know what? I don't understand this room at all. So I'm going to leave it alone for now. Um, would it... I wish there were a hotkey for this. Most of the rooms looked okay with blending. It was just that one with the tar that didn't. Actually, what do the rest of these look like with blending anyway? That's still super dark. Although, that's kind of nice and atmospheric. Yeah, no, these are all really dark. This one is less dark for some reason. This one's fine. Ten omplik. One brain. So omplik horde? Brain omplik horde? What do brain omplik move like, anyway? I'm not sure I've worked with them very often. Uh, that's not safe. This kind of is, but not really. Okay, so I am frozen. Okay, so is this just basically a brained omp like magic move sequence sort of thing? Uh, so making them turn like that seemed beneficial. Slow those guys down so those others can get to me. Uh. No, this won't work. So no assistive devices, just deal with Rain Dawn like somehow. I'm trying to get a pattern where I can just make them keep facing different directions. And slow themselves down so a different group can get here. Whoa! <laughs> That's a fancy little cage you're in, b <laughs> Uh-huh. So if I do this, what happens? Those kill me from those angles, of course. If I do a slightly modified version of that, where those arrive earlier, like with a stun there or something, I still die. Yeah, this is going to be some magic, no matter how I do it, pretty much. So that's clearly no good. This is just a rotation of what I already tried, which is no good. Can I convince you to go north? Yes. Uh, oh, another observation I make is that beam reflection might be able to be a thing in this spot. Uh, for all the good that does me. <laughs> like, I can reason about some things here, but it's still just going to be end up being some random sequence of moves that works for reasons I don't actually understand. Uh, like, with this much chaos, that's, that's the only way this could possibly play out. Okay. So it seems to me like it would be beneficial to convince you to go north, but that's hard to do. Because if you can go north, then I would only have three sides under attack at a time. <sighs> like, just because I'm stunned doesn't mean I'm dead. Let's see. 
I can take an opportunity to turn when he turns or something. Like, I have to step there to make you go that way. And then if I step back south, you go back that way. And I don't have time to turn around. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, okay, that worked. So you're still coming this way. You are likely to be a problem. If I could just kill you and keep everybody else on the same side of me, then that would be perfect. Actually, yeah, if I can strategize like that, then that would be pretty great. And I think I might have done it. Oh, but he's brained, so he doesn't want to slide around the way I'd like him to. Yeah, because I was hoping I could just sort of step south and kill him that way. So can I make everybody go north? Mm, don't think I can convince you to. There's this passage over here. Maybe that does something. Obviously I can't do that. Obviously I can't do that. So yeah, just controlling the pathfinding of you feels like... I mean, okay, so I could... Hold on. So this is not symmetrical. Because of turn order and move preferences and things. Some go north, some don't. Yeah, that just that seems like the clearest I can get this. Because I, I stepped there, and that was magic for some reason. Makes you go there. Oh, hey, maybe I can make you go through there. Yeah! Look, I have a clear south. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. Ah, uh, ah, almost. See, now you're turning around and going that way. Uh, is that it? Uh, is that it? Is that it? No. What if I wait? No. What if I turn first? No. What if I move? No. What if I wait like this? What if I wait like... Uh, no. Yeah. This feels like I'm on the right track. If I step south and... No. Because if I can get everybody coming to me from the north and I'm standing in one of these two positions, I'm completely safe. If that's the way I have to do that, this, then I like that a lot better than it just being a magic sort of sequence thing. Um, because with that, I can actually strategize about stuff, kind of. I can't wait there, because that guy kills me. I can't go back there, because that guy has sidestepped around and... Also is interested in killing me. Turning this way doesn't seem like it could possibly do anything good. And I'd get double beamed from here and here. So there's just that's just yeah, I just get get into a beam trap there. I can step here, but I mean that's again, uh who's beaming me? It's you. You will stop after a turn. But somebody else sidesteps around and takes his place, of course. Eh. I mean, there's... Like what, am I just going to exhaustively try all the inputs here until one works? I think I'm on the wrong path, because this all dead ends. So what can I do differently if I wait? No. I need to... Okay, so if I go here... No. If I... No. Hmm. Who's beaming? Oh, it's you. I mean, the other option, maybe, is, like, if I can just survive for a while somewhere... long enough to not be hassled so much by... Ooh, other, other option. If I could keep these spinning in a particular spot and move back and forth where they're just not beaming at me. 
like uh, kind of almost well but then yeah then that happens and I can't move anymore so that's no good It still feels closest to working. There are checkpoints here and here, though, which makes me think that those might be involved in the puzzle somehow. Yeah. Can I dodge you? Somehow. See, that's kind of vaguely close, but not good enough. Okay, so maybe. All right, so if I'm focusing on getting just these two to the south. Yeah, so brained omplik. Like an unbrained omplik here would move here instead of there. But since he's brained, he prefers orthogonal, so, like, my, my normal omplic techniques just don't work the same. I have you frozen. That's nice. I can... I can't. Uh. Uh. Yeah, again, I would have liked you to step there, but you stepped here instead. Ah, ah brain don't like frustrating. So I've tried a couple of strategies. What else can I try? Going south seems worse because things generally kind of prefer to go north. So like, I'm gonna have a more even number on both sides if I if I go south. So it's better for me to go north, because I'll have fewer on my south if I do that. I just wish I could find a, a pattern where I could keep keep turning these upper guys without, without them being able to move. I've frozen you. I only have the one down here. Can I deal with this? So then that starts happening, and that's no good. And you will come straight for me as soon as that... So if I step here or here, you'll beat me. If I wait, that's if I go here, no, that's no, 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 no. Everything is no. So I'm facing north. It's different. Ah! Not quite. What if I try and face south instead? Yeah, like I'll be able to escape this. <laughs> That's not happening. Hey, did I just escape this? I just escaped this. Oh, that did happen. <laughs> okay, so that might be viable. Hey, look. Like I said, it was going to be just something completely magical. And it was. <laughs> well... So much for strategizing. Okay. <laughs> Man. All right, fair enough. So that's a brained omplic cord. Not certain I've ever held, had to deal with that before, but now I know what it feels like. Not nearly as good as unbrained. <laughs> All right, so there's still several rooms to go in this portion of the level. I'll see you next time to take them on.